What is up guys, my name is Ripley Gamer, and welcome to the last episode of Spire of the Dragon Reignited in all its HD glory. The last video of the first game that is, because we are going over, over this way. Oh good, he's right there. Because we're going back to the Nork Nexus. And the reason we're going back to the Nork Nexus Need is because lift. we need to do the final level that is in this game. We should have 100%. 12,000 gems, every dragon rescued, every level done, pretty much all the trophies at this point. We're just missing two. And then we will go into the final level and we'll just collect treasure because that's all there is to it. It's just a treasure collecting level. And I gotta say, I'm very happy that I have pretty much at 100% of this game because in the original I never got to 100% I never could get past Nasty Knock I only defeated Nasty Knock this summer which is kind of sad when you think about it there it is it's opened up I'm in the money we got the trophy and the only one we need is Horda we are at 97% and then once we complete Horda we get Nasty's demise so and I'll show you how I got 100% it's a game total 100%. Every level, every dragon, every gem, every egg. 48 lives. That's pretty impressive. And here we are going into Nasty's Loots. And there's thieves, the keys. And we can fly. And this is giving off a green tinge. I don't know why. But there's 2,000 gems in this level. And once we've done that, we should be at 120% is like the full on percentage of the whole thing. I mean, look at this place. Look at this place. And we can fly in this level. And there's just boxes everywhere. Ah, but we can only fly so high. As you can see, we can only fly so high because we haven't unlocked things. And once we unlock things, that allows us access to the higher levels, which is why these thieves are around, because they've got the keys. They've got the keys, they've got the secrets, they've got the keys to another way. And the purple, I think. Or blue, I can't tell. It might be the lighting. We got that key. And then we can, oh, do that, that and that. And I think we can glide from here, yep, to this area, and then we can use our key to open that up. The key went in backwards, that's kind of alarming. And then there's another door here, but now we're at higher levels, so now we can travel just a bit higher. And also, we missed a gem. We missed a gem and I am shocked. Shocked and dismayed that I've left this gem. There's also been rumours that Crash Bandicoot is a coming. And not like, you know, Insane Trilogy. That's already out. But I mean, Crash Team Racing. The Mario Kart of the Crash games, <laughs> you could say. Which is kind of a stupid comparison. I can now fly this high, which gets me over here. Which made me safely land in that, that was kinda cool. Of course we're still got lots of gems. And then this guy's like being a little being a little being a little bastard. It's like get out of here. It's like give me the key and get out of here. Of course they're like the worst, they're like the ones in the magic craft is where you kind of, they just run in circles. So you got these gems. So we're like over 500 gems into this, which is good. I haven't missed any, have I? Nope, I should be on the right track. There's another door up there, but I believe we have to go 
Oh yeah, that's the return home thing. It's quite high up. Yeah, we fly over this way and open up this door. And once again, the keys are... That one's flying. Of course he is. Of course he is. Of course there's one that flies. Look at him in his silly little biplane. Okay, I don't even know where he went. Where'd you go, friend? Where'd you go, friend? I... And you see what he does? He's like, haha, I can fly. I have a plane, but you have wings. And I'm like, stop it. Just stop it. See, I don't... When they've got flight planes, it's the worst, because there's one in the third Spyro game that's got a plane, and you have to get an egg from him, and you, you can only flame him, or you've only got like a limited amount of flight in you to be able to flame him. Let's go around this way. Let's see if we can cut him off at the pass and surprise him. Hey, it worked. And now we can find the other door, because it's, so it's somewhere around here. Might also be through here. We didn't actually go through here. We have not gone through this weird lava cave system that Nork Nasty has. Why does he have this? I was also curious where he's put his, like, location. It's in such a weird place, like an industrial steampunk dock, essentially. Like, the dragons are all like, magic and fairies! And stuff, and then he's just like, screw that. I want metal. Okay, where is this? There it is. Get yeah, these gems. Open up this door. There better not be more thieves. I'm hoping there are only three of them. Nope, there is one more. And of course, he's got a plane too. Of course, he is silly enough to think that going to the right will save him. If I go the other way, it will surprise him. I think. Can't see him now. Where are you? Where are you, you little thief? There he is. Oh, he's doing that, is he? Well, two can play at that game. Let's see if he does come flying in through this way. Nope. That's not what he does. Okay, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy, he's mean. He doesn't play fair. Because I can never find him. Where on earth could he have gone? See, this guy's got like such a weird pattern. There's like another rocket, I think, somewhere that I've missed. It opens up that one. It is fun playing this, but my lord, my god, man. I don't know where that thief's gone, is the problem. <laughs> Yeah. 
There he is. Hey buddy, don't go flying up there. But that's what you do, is it? Gotcha. Now let's see if we can find that final rocket. Because it doesn't make sense that there will be one chest I can open unless I supercharge that one. I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're going to go and open up this door. And that key actually went in properly. That was a singular 10. So I'm definitely missing a rocket, but it means I can fly up here. Maybe the rocket's up here. Or it's over there. Here it is, because I'm a silly. Although I like that the rockets have look like little proper firework brands now. And they're not just like little plain red rockets like they were in the original. Not that plain rockets are bad. It's just kind of interesting, you know? So that's taken us to 950. Oh, hey, this is where Nasty lives. It's his crib. I don't know where you took his couch and his TV. That was pretty awesome. But I'm guessing that because this is where Nasty lives. <gasps> 2,000 gems. Because he, he must have moved his couch out then. Horda! And hopefully not long after. Yes, Nasty's demise. My third platinum trophy. 100%. Oh, it feels so good to have 100% in Spyro. It feels so good. He's got so many love letters. And just a picture of himself. Imagination. Rhymes with devastation. Confidence. There's nothing standing between you and your goal but a little tiny purple dragon. That's actually very useful. If you just think of all your problems as a tiny little purple dragon, then, you know, it's not too bad. Knowledge. With a G. Because, of course, is the power to turn dragons to crystal. Teamwork. Is... Can't even read that one. Patience is for dragons. Practice. It's not about being the best, it's about destroying everyone else. Okay, I like these. I like these ones. That teamwork one... I think it says it's for Norks who can't do it themselves, I think is what it said. But that was so cool! Alright, and now we can return on home. Because we did it! We got Nasty's loot, we got 2,000 gems more, and we got a cutscene. Spyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob, and I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! I did it. I'm so happy that I did it. 120%. The adventure continues. The adventure might continue, but it'll continue in the second game. Which will be started next week. So I've got a very busy weekend ahead. I've actually got a very busy week next week ahead of me because I've got to get my Saturday night videos done, get the final station out, and also I have to get like three weeks worth of videos recorded and all their projects set up before I leave uh, on the 16th. So we are back in the artisan world, but we have completed it. The guidebook says 120% with 14,000 out of 12,000 gems. Man alive, it feels good to have completed this game. I'm so happy I've completed this game. And I'm happy I got to show you guys me completing this game. So, thank you guys so much for watching me play Spyro the Dragon.
reignited in all its HD glory. Tune in for Ripto's ra Rage Gateway to Glimmer, which will be coming up once these videos are all done. So leave it a like if you liked it, leave a comment in the comment box below, subscribe if you are new, and click that bell so you always get a video as soon as it goes out. I have a Twitter, at RipleyGamer. Follow me on there for life, games, and wrestling updates. I also have an Instagram under the same name. Follow me on there and you can see me post selfies and geek stuff and stuff when I'm out and about in town. And also I have a Patreon. Donate to me on there if you'd like to. And you can help me become a full-time content creator. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.